Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about Season 11, Episode 20, What's Been Lost. It's out on AMC Plus now, so this video contains spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. And just a reminder to subscribe here for all you guys' Walking Dead content as we release reviews every week and videos throughout the week. Um, So, just kind of jumping right into it. Um, In terms of, like, craziness, this episode didn't have anything too crazy, but I think it really drive drives the series forward because we only have four episodes left after this till the series is over and i think it did a really good job at pushing it forward and of course we get more of the we get a lot of daryl and carol which kind of like the og thing and seeing them together you know it's always it's always been a really good time on the walking dead ever since the early seasons and these are two characters who rather work together but trust each other when they got to split up, which they end up having to do. Because in this episode, like it kind of picks up where we seem like Rosita getting captured. The same things happening to Ezekiel and Carol. She knows Ezekiel just randomly disappears, and she ends up fighting off the henchmen. And like Daryl must have got like blindsided because he took out one of the fighters, and Carol ends up saving him from another one while he was having a tussle with one of them. But they come up with the idea to go figure out where our people are due to Lance. And so, like, they go, they don't know, like, you know, what Pamela did in Lance's cell yet. So when they get there, it's, like, really crazy looking. And, you know, Lance is just in the corner covered in blood because Sebastian's been eating his homie. And flipping his lucky coin and just, like, completely, you know, like, he, he lost it. He has lost everything he had. His brain is, like, you know, he's just in shock, all that. He's just not not there, and they end up, like, shaking him up, and Carol gets him to calm down, and he's like, well, I'll take you to them. And basically, he, right before, um, because Daryl puts Sebastian the zombie down, uh, Walker down, and so he's like, I got to do one more thing, and we don't necessarily see it yet, but then, like, later in the episode, we see Pamela going in to check out because there's the alarm at the prison, and apparently he smashed Sebastian's head and left his coin in there and like Pamela looked pissed. And yeah, so like Pamela's like really going crazy, but we'll talk more about that in a minute with the her and you Miko stuff. And yeah, so Lan uh Daryl and Carol split up because he's taking care of the soldiers and Carol's getting Lance out of there and they're making room forward. And like Carol's skeptical of Lance this whole time because, like, I think, like, Lance is saying things that he actually means, but the way he plays it off and obviously all the things that he's done so far, just, you can't trust him. You don't know when he's playing you. You don't know, and you know, he's, like, gonna do something for his involvement in the end. And, like, he was playing, like, because he, how do I say it? He, um, wants, he basically claims he's done all the work for the Commonwealth and Pamela got all the credit, or something of that nature and carol wants to you know he's like so what happens after and she's like what do you mean and he's like well we go back to the commonwealth and we make it um make it better because you know if pamela is just taken out there's going to be a power vacuum and typically someone worse takes over for the person before so i think he's like trying to get you know someone from alexandria's group to to run it and him just to get his you know foot in the door so he can be in a similar spot to where he's at and yeah so carol's like kind of catching on to his bullshit <clears throat> when they go through this tunnel and get to the other side some soldiers stop him but daryl ends up saving him and they get to where there's this outpost and we get kind of the big drop that the commonwealth has a train which in the comics um when eugene got there eugene and stephanie because that was her actual name in the comics Eugene and Stephanie were working on building the train so that way they could transport from community to community better. And so apparently they already have a working train, so that's how they're that's gonna take them to the place where everyone's being held captive. And so basically, kind of like what uh Daryl did with Dwight back after the Savior arc, um, they were gonna give Lance the opportunity to walk away. He was like, either you die or you go walk away and be your own thing. And, like, he's like, oh, I won't live out here. And Daryl's like, good, you know. And as he's walking away, he goes to grab the gun. But Carol's like, Carol and Daryl knew that he probably was going to do something. She already had the bow ready. And as soon as he turned around with the gun, 
Lance is dead. Arrow right through the neck. So that's another big Commonwealth character that died well before its com- comic um, counterpart. So wonder what implicate now, like when we're looking for um, the villains, we're going to be mainly looking at just just Pamela. And it's um, worth noting that Mercer wasn't in this episode at all. So we don't know where he stands on capturing, you know, Daryl's group and all that. Like, why isn't he involved or had anything to say? They didn't show him in this episode. So I guess they're probably saving that for, you know, one of the next episodes. And, yeah, and then the whole other little plot going on is Yumiko and Eugene, mainly Yumiko. And... Pamela wants Yumiko to defend on her side against Eugene, basically prosecute Eugene, you know, and that's going to end up leading to what will likely be his death. And so she's faced with this whole time because, like, basically the whole reason Pamela took all the other group is to hold this leverage over Yumiko, so she does it. And Pamela already went as far to threaten Tommy, which we already know that Tommy got in some kind of trouble for not saying how he was a surgeon and Yumiko accidentally spoke that up. So like we end up finding Connie at first got away from the henchmen, but I guess later in the episode off screen, they captured her, but Yumiko was trying to follow someone and kind of end up going bad. And yeah. And Pamela and her are having like these jarring back and forth ones. And there's this big press conference that's going to happen. And like Yumiko's going through all this stuff because she had a good talk with Eugene where Eugene's like no matter how bad this looks this is not the end like also like what if you are defending her going against me and she goes back on her word on those people in the meantime while the court stuff's going on and so like Yumiko's really questioning it and so at the press press conference Tommy's in the front she's reading the speech that she's supposed to speech and all of a sudden she like Brings notice to Tommy how he's a great surgeon, and kind of like what I think was going on there. And she's in the public eye, she's like making Tommy look like, you know, this everyday hero, keeping, you know, keeping people keeping on. And that way, if Pamela is going to like turn on Yumiko at all and do anything to Tommy, Pamela makes herself look like the bad guy. So I think that's one of the moves. But then she hit the big surprise of she's going to defend Eugene instead because he's wrongfully accused so that's setting up a big court like crazy thing and i guess we only have four episodes left so like it's it's there's a lot that's going to happen but this really pushed the story forward and like since lance died we don't get to really find out if he directly knows anything about the crm the civil republic military for the people that haven't watched walking Dead world beyond the helicopter people um yeah, so we don't know if he actually has any ties to that. Maybe we find out if Pamela does or doesn't. Like, there's got to be no way. Like, there's no chance that the CRM doesn't know about them with how big their their colony is. But yeah, I don't know. Pretty good episode. I really liked the dark tones. It was really dark. It was really cool. Like, the spooky. I was, I'm, I was digging it. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Um, I'll be having a promo trailer breakdown for episode 21 up on the channel in the next day or two, so be sure to check that out. We'll see what we can come up for predictions. We'll get some really cool, like, I just seen the scenes with Negan and Ezekiel, like, talking, and I'm I'm down for it. I'm always seeing, I'm, like, down to see Negan, like, with the new, with the characters that he didn't really get to interact with while he was on our side yet. But yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about thought about the episode and yeah smash the like button if you haven't already catch you guys in the next video peace